Hi guys, it's Actual Mono. How's everyone doing? Good, 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 I hope. First of all, a very quick apology for being really distant of late. I have been in whatever the perfume reviewer's equivalent of writer's block is. Just no mojo whatsoever. Anyway, I'm using this review, one of my favorite brands, to try and pull myself out of a funk. And we are in the full swing of autumn, so this is the perfect time to review it. We have many new fragrances from Zoologist, but today I'm talking about Chipmunk. I have been wearing this fragrance, I've been wearing the hell out of it. I've finished almost all of my 10 mil of it, and I've been really enjoying it. This one is themed on the cute furry animal, very, very sweet. It's about the environment of the chipmunk, forest treetops, foraging for hazelnuts or acorns or whatever it is that they eat and just all round cuteness. The perfumer behind this one is Pia Long. I've only ever smelled one other fragrance by her which was Terra and Magnificence for Beaufort London. Polar opposite of this fragrance but it's nice to smell something else from her. Anyway, note list. Please note there are nine woody notes in this fragrance. Nine, count them, nine. The top notes of Chipmunk are quince, pink pepper, red mandarin, cardamom and nutmeg. Nutmeg is actually a woody note, just so you know. The heart notes are chamomile, hazelnut, fir balsam, absolute, oak absolute and earthy notes. And the base notes are cedarwood, amaris, patchouli, vetiver, benzoin, apopanax, guyac wood and animalic notes. Please note. Zoologists do not use real animalic notes in their perfumes. You won't be able to see it on camera, but I have pretty much used all of this. There's this much left out of my 10 mil. It is nearly gone. Um, so yeah, I've worn it quite a lot. And I'm gonna tell you my experience of how it smells. I have been reading a lot of other reviews and even watching them just to see what other people exp are experiencing. As usual, mine is totally different from everyone. So here's my take. The opening of this fragrance is Sparks of Pink Pepper. I wouldn't say it is an overly spicy fragrance, but there are definite twinges of a gentle spiciness that never really overtakes. What you are dealing with immediately is the environment of the chipmunk. The animal comes later, but for now let's talk about the environment because there are two things that happen here. The two things that stick out for me are fir balsam and amaris. This to me ultimately feels sandalwoody and the reason I'm pinpointing amaris is because amaris is used by perfumers to mimic or sometimes give the feeling of sandalwood without using actual sandalwood because I guess it's really expensive and maybe sandalore isn't something they want to use. So amaris oil gives this fragrance a sultry sandalwood feeling mainly for me but as I said there are nine woody notes happening it's all about the woods that's what I get quite prominently at the, at the beginning I also feel a lot of fir balsam it made me think of musk deer when I smelled it if you have tried musk deer by zoologist if musk deer is the colder Siberian pine forest with some fur, then chipmunk is the autumnal, warmer, slightly browner, but still pine-like forest. That's what I get from it straight away. You are immediately taken to the environment of a chipmunk. I really need to talk about the nuttiness of this fragrance because everywhere I read and everything I watch, people are talking about a very pronounced nuttiness. I expected it to be very nutty. I thought that was gonna be the main theme. It's not for me personally. I rarely experience nuttiness when I wear this. I have once, and the one time that I experienced it was when I smelled this perfume on myself, I sprayed it, in an already perfumed environment, if that makes sense. When I wear this at home or I smell it outside, I don't get any nuttiness from it, and I kind of wish that it was more like that because it's a cool theme, but really this is more about the slightly aromatic and evergreen feeling with a sultry sandalwood slash amaris at first. After about 20 minutes, this is where the magic happens for me. This is the other, let's say, fork in the road for this perfume. So the environment part is first, then comes the animal. And as a reviewer, it's my job to try and pick things apart usually so I can try and explain what I'm experiencing for you guys. And with this one, I kind of don't wanna. Some things should be left and some things should be experienced for what they are. 
I'm not sure what Pia and uh, Victor conjured up for this, but what happens is the true magic of this perfume, which is a furry, soft, musky sweetness that smells cute. The animalic part of this perfume is very understated. It is an underlying thing that's barely there. It's barely a whisper, so if you are worried about it being an, a super animalic, like Hyrax or anything like that, it, it isn't. It's not that at all. But there is this cuteness, this kind of, it smells like brown, soft, furry type smell that is bringing warmth to the perfume. It's softening this relatively aromatic and harsh woodiness that's in the opening. And this is the best part of it. The chipmunk part is right on theme. It is nail on head for what I would imagine a chipmunk perfume to smell like. I didn't get the nuts, but I got the animal, so I'm happy. It makes it a tiny bit playful at its core, but you can always feel the environment. The chipmunk is nestled into its environment and that's how it feels to me. I do get a soft earthiness from this. Vetiver, which is another woody note, brings a touch of earthy, a touch of autumnal uh, and it, it works as well. Everything here is quite well blended and it's taken me a lot of wearings to pick this one apart, hence the delay in my review. Sorry about that again. But yeah, to be able to blend nine woody elements with some a few other things happening quite so seamlessly, I think is great. And Chipmunk's a winner for me. I really enjoy wearing it. So that's where we're at. That's where I'm at with Chipmunk. I will talk about the dry down now for a very brief moment. I say brief because I do experience a relatively linear, journey with this one. This isn't one of the zoologists that really pulls you all over the place and takes you to different corners of the perfume universe. It is well blended enough to deliver the theme and it doesn't veer off from that path very much. The dry down for me is slightly warmer. It is resinous a tiny bit because you do have a Poppinax in here. There is a slight amberiness happening but it's not ambery enough to be called an amber perfume by any means. Always about the woods, always about the woods, guys. In terms of projection and strength, I would call this a medium one for zoologists. They do have every part of the scale in their collection. There are the super loud ones, and then you have the really subdued, quiet ones. This one sits in the middle for me. I don't think it's overly edgy or scary. It would be a really good gateway zoologist if you want to experience the brand, but don't want to dive in with, say, a T-Rex. And it's just really enjoyable, it's really easy to wear. That chipmunk cuteness, that furriness which comes from I don't know where is the real tick checkbox for me with this. I, I wasn't expecting it to smell quite so piney, um, but I like that it's a furry brown softness, an amorous, a sandalwood, a slightly earthy, just it's the color brown. A really nice addition to the zoologist line, I have other ones to try but uh, for now this is my review of chipmunk longevity for me is about six or seven hours where i can really feel it but it is a close to the skin one at the end as always try it on your own skin it is the best way don't take my longevity to be the same as your longevity anyway guys i hope you like this video i'm out 10 trying to make the world smell better one video at a time i'll see you guys soon goodbye